Welcome to the master bathroom. I've said it before, we just moved in this house a couple months ago and we still have a lot of punch out or touch ups, a lot of little projects to get finished up, a lot of details to do. Right now I'm going to be working on some touch up paint. So we've got a video coming up about working in the closet. You're just going to have to ignore the messy closet. I'm planning on building it out, a lot of custom racks and shelves. I just haven't had time to get to it, so we'll just ignore that for right now. Also, I am very unhappy with this tile job in the master bathroom, so we're just going to ignore that. It's a long story. We've been back and forth with the tile guy during construction. He did a terrible job. We'll be going over that in another video as we talk about building the house and everything we went through during that process. But for right now, we're going to be working on the touch-up paint. So let me show you. Okay, and it's nighttime. You can see through the window, it's nighttime. I know the lighting is terrible in here, so I'm sure I look great. But you can see here on the wall, I painted the walls before the tile guy did their work and the guy was just a complete slob. I understand it's construction work, but he got grout everywhere and just made a mess. I mean, a lot of this, I think he could have just cleaned the wall after he was done. But anyway, there's grout here. I mean, all under the window. It's everywhere. It's way over here on this wall. I mean, it's like five feet from the shower that he was grouting. I don't understand how he got it over there. So anyway, let's get started. I've got a pretty quick way to touch up this paint. Now I've already been around the edges with my paintbrush and kind of cut it in. So what I'm going to do now is right here, four inch roller. I'm not even going to use a rolling tray. Let me show you what I'm going to do. All right, the first thing I need to do is get this little table out of the way. I don't have a lot of paint left. I'm hoping that I've got enough. So let's shake it up a little bit. I guess you can stir it. You can shake it. Sometimes I just like to shake it. I'm out of breath just from shaking this can. If I wasn't trying to film this, I'd probably have this on a table or on the floor. It would be a lot easier. All right, that looks good enough. I think it'll work. The next thing we need is plastic. As I'm rolling, I don't want the splatter to get on the floor and the tub. So we got the box of painter's plastic. If I was doing the whole room painting everything, I would probably actually tape this to the baseboard or tape it around. But I'm just doing a real quick touch up job trying to cover up the sloppy work that the tile guy did. So I'm just going to kind of lay this in place. So I just have the plastic laying on top of the baseboard. So this is the main point or the main reason for this video. I'm doing a quick touch up paint job and I recently found these four inch rollers. These things are great. If you're just touching up the walls or doors or whatever, I'll just dip it straight into the can. I don't even use a paint tray. 
Then you save the paint tray. You save the paint tray liner if you buy those. It's just a quick, easy way to touch up paint. I never clean these rollers. I've never been successful with cleaning any paint rollers. I just buy multiple packs of these, keep them around for when I need them. These four inch rollers, you can get these covers in different textures. You can get foam if you want a smoother finish. This one is your typical 3 8 nap. I'll try to show you. It's not perfect. Now generally, I believe you want to uh, put the roller in the paint tray and get the paint all nicely, evenly covered on the roller. I don't have time for that. And it's not gonna be evenly covered on this, but once you roll it out on the wall, it's gonna look great. It's gonna blend in, it's gonna be fine. I don't know that I can even show this, but I mean, I basically get it on there. Like it's not even all the way on the roller. Give it a little shake so it doesn't drip on the floor. Now let me set this camera down. It doesn't cover it very far, so I'm going to have to dip it back in here. Let's see if I can get this. All right, so, I mean, I've only got paint on one side of the roller. Give it a little shake, get the excess off. Some of this I'm going to have to hit twice because the grout is dark gray. The grout or the thin set, whatever this is. I mean, it goes on the wall a little sloppy. But just roll it out. Another thing I like about these little four inch rollers, when you don't have a roller tray to sit them in, you can just hang them right on the paint can. If you need to walk around or maybe adjust the plastic or whatever, they fit nice right there. Now they make these in six inch, which would be nice to have when I'm doing a bigger section like this, but I just use the four inch. I don't want to have a bunch of extra stuff laying around. I don't want to have to buy a bunch of different size roller covers. And even this, the actual roller handle, you'd have to buy a six inch version. So using a four inch on a bigger section of wall, it does take a little bit more time. But at the end, I've got a lot less to clean up and I don't have to waste a roller tray liner. I feel like I'm using less paint too because I'm getting it straight out of the can. I'm not pouring a bunch in the tray liner and then later on it dries up and you're really just wasting it throwing it away or you're trying to pour it back in the can which you never get all of it back in there. not a video on how to paint. Obviously, 
I'm putting it on kind of thick and then I back roll it into what I've already painted. And you probably can't tell, but when I dip it in there and shake it off, there's no paint on this side. I mean, I've got paint on this side, but it's all right. Once you get it on the wall and start rolling it, it just blends in. It looks nice. This wall over here, it's almost dry already. I've even done some sections twice where it was a little bit darker. Another thing I like about this is if you're moving around a bigger room and you're just trying to do some touch up, then you've got to drag your paint can and your roller tray and your roller. Well, I can go anywhere with this. All I've got is my roller and a paint can. I can walk anywhere. I don't have to keep moving so many things around. Let me see if I can film what I'm doing. I almost try to just roll the roller across. Now look, that was good. I actually got paint all the way around it that time. And then just give it a good shake. I don't know, you might could I just shake it off. Now that's that's a lot of paint, you know, but that's okay. It's a lot of paint, but once you start putting it on the wall, It'll be all right. It starts out a little sloppy. You just got to roll it out. That looks good. I've got a couple of spots, darker spots I'll have to hit when it dries a little bit more. I'll move on to another section and then come back to this when it dries a little bit. Now you can't see it on the video, but it's actually dry over here and it, it's blended in real nice. That's one thing you definitely see when you use a paintbrush to do touch it up. You can see the different sheen of where it was rolled before or sprayed and then brushed. You can tell all the little patches, but these walls were all rolled with your standard 12 inch, 3 8 nap. And doing touch up work with this little thing, it blends right in very well. Well, that's not the best camera angle in the world, but all I've got left is this one section and I think I'll be done. Sure if you can hear it in the background sounds like a plane taking off or landing but I have a washing machine my laundry room is right on the other side of this master closet here I notice I'm always very heavy-handed when I paint I usually end up flattening out a lot of the nap on whatever roller I'm using I still get a pretty good paint job, but it's kind of aggravating. I try to be very delicate and just let the let the roller do the work, but I don't know why I do that. Last time I'll show this. See, I've got paint all over that side I don't even have paint on that side so don't think you always have to use a roller tray to get a good finish if you're just looking for a quick touch-up job last thing I've got to do is hit a couple of these dark spots again and I'll be done like I said before I've never been good at washing out rollers so I'm just going to be lazy. I'll let this dry out. 
I'll pull it off and throw it away and I'll be ready for the next project. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching my video, even with the terrible lighting in here, because it's nighttime. It seems like when you own a house, there are so many things you always have to do, so many projects. And I always like finding shortcuts or faster ways to do things while still getting great results. Once this paint dries, I know you can't see in the video, but it's gonna blend in very nice you won't even be able to tell that it's been touched up.